in the wilds of Odansk lays a dark and dangerous place. The park. Here, enemies flock in their droves to gain that early lead and score those cheap kills. Inside, the cash quivers at the thought of being stolen. It has a problem. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you should hire. That would be the introduction to end all introductions if I had my way, but copyright claims prevent me from doing it. Alright, so guys, I'm showcasing the devastating power of the MAC-10 at the moment, which is plaguing Verdansk at any given moment. Between that, the Diamond Eddies and the DMR, it's, it's really blown anything that Modern Warfare had to offer outside the window, especially when you look back to the R9 Dragon Spread Shotgun, the Spal, the Hipfire MP5, the Hipfire MP7. The MAC-10 can be used best in its prime inside Park bunker where the enemies just want to swarm in on top of you game after game after game and it has so many opportunities inside here to camp to just head glitch to just watch at how they cluelessly will just pile in on top of you sometimes almost as if they're bots they just don't have any forward thinking on it but it is a very fun gun to use, equipped with stop and power rounds and once you have a level it up all the way level 55 have a speed round mag on it and you don't use a, a scope or a sight of any kind a, a no scope is the best form to use this gun in in close quarters and once you have a general idea of where the enemies are as they're coming in uh, you're able to just wipe them out time and time again as you can hear from my commentary in game the main problem I do have with it is range but mounting that actually has incredible recoil control sometimes you don't even need to mount and sometimes an RPG will just destroy everything you've built up and absolutely ruin any momentum you had going. We cut back into another game where, where the kill streaks inside Park Bunker can be fully utilised to not only draw enemies inside but also down them outside. As you can see here, the Mac 10 is still shredding inside the bunker and at any and all costs pick up another kill streak, pick up stop and power rounds, Absolutely. and 100% try and drop attack insert second you get inside. Because sometimes you want to go back, you want to get revenge. Don't want them to get the better of you. Now here we just have to have slight bit of patience as we watch the advanced review and just trying to work out what have they got going on in their heads, what did they want to do. I kind of just let them play though. We can see one's on top. Someone's jumped out of the cast. We know one is obviously ghosted because he's not appearing on UAV. So it's just a matter of waiting and see. We're almost banked at this point, so there's not really much danger in losing much cash. It's all about having fun and kind of just enjoying the moment, the scene that these enemies are setting. We're banked now. Balls to the wall. Here comes one. Let the gameplay tell itself. I mean, that's a collateral kill if ever you've seen one. And. Very, very enjoyable to uh, to watch <laughs> and to pull off. Outside Park Bunker now, and this is still from the same game. They have decided they are not going to leave me alone. Which, you know, you kind of just want to get back to looting. You want to get back to doing a bit more killing, a bit more looting. And lo and behold, we have another one here who amazingly throws a grenade at my shadow. It's the first it time now. I've seen it, and as you can tell in the game, <laughs> I really did realise that. Alright. We're still stuck with Park Bunker in this one. Before we eventually move on to the Boneyard Bunkers, just for a, a quick visit. But you can see almost no gun can compare to this once you have the right uh, setup inside the bunker. The DMRs, uh, RPDs, FFARs are all incredible guns, granted. But they don't seem to do it. Even Diamond Eddies would struggle to get a shot on a head collision Mac 10. And finally, we conclude in the Treble Bunker, just past Storage Town, uh, quite near the end of the game, where I am sitting on $600,000. And I have some very anxious enemies who clearly don't know about Caddy Sticks, Mac 10s, and the good places to camp inside the bunker. And we conclude with the one and only Illust. My brother from another mother is going to be joining me in one moment after his bounty ends up killing him. And there, we set up for the perfect kill, or at least the best kill that we can get. Of course, we know an RPD. Yeah. Got him. 
Got him. It turns out Flo Luke guns are actually quite effective in, him, in, in this season. Um, previous oh, renditions well, haven't exactly shit. been the most reliable. Okay, quick. Oh, they're pushing in to get a goal. So in the closing 30 seconds of this match, we're getting pushed oh, I got it, got once it. more inside the bunker. Well, As it is helped so much by pushing on the ground and leaving me with all the money and a bouncing Betty as my only line of defense. Oh, yeah. And as the final enemy pushes in, as Ellis makes himself comfortable downstairs, Damn, we get that kill. <laughs> and this crazy ass push in the last second Don't do it. to secure a beautiful, it. shiny Damascus. Thanks for watching, folks, and enjoy the marvelous Max 10.